Hello, friend, a special good night to you. May the spirit of the living God bless you. Once, once again, we are here now. It's after 9, nine o'clock and, and, and two minutes. We are going to do a special prayer on behalf of the country Trinidad and Tobago. And also, I'm going to pray for you in order for God to protect, to guide, and bless you. But before, look what the Bible says. I'm going to read it for you. Then the Lord said to Gideon, by these 300 men who laughed, I will save you and I will deliver the Midianiters into your hands. My friend, the water was the place of separation. As you have been listening to us, we have been talking about it for a good while. From the moment that the, three, the 300 men, they did not bow down before the water, but they did according to the way that God was expecting them to do. Then, my friend, they made themselves a chosen one. And this is the thing that's going to happen in the life of those who have been faithful to God. When you do what God expects you to do, what God he expects you to do, to be faithful to him, to go to the altar, to challenge him, to obey his voice. Yes, not only with words or with prayer, but with action. When you decide to obey the voice and trust in the word of God, then, friend, he will do for you what he did in the life of these 300 men. And that's why from tomorrow, as our church will be open, we are going to pass through the altar to present on the altar our faithfulness. Tomorrow, Friday, we are going to have a special service here in our headquarters in Port of Spain. And also throughout of Trinidad and Tobago, our first service is going to be at 6 o'clock in the morning. Early in the morning, we are going to have the service. After 6, we are going to have a service at 10 o'clock, 12 noon, 3 in the afternoon, and 5 p.m. Tomorrow is going to be the day that we are going to pass through the altar and challenge, present our faithfulness on the altar, and also we are going to pray in order for you to receive your total freedom, your total deliverance. If you make yourself a chosen one, for sure, God is going to do for you things that you are not expecting. For many, for many people, 2020, the year is gone. The year finished already. But my friend, those of you that were faithful to God, this is the year of your blessing. With pandemic or without pandemic, you are going to prosper. You are going to grow. God is going to reveal himself to you inside of your house. Right there in your business, he's going to prosper the works of your hands. I'm going to pray for Trinidad and Tobago. And also, I'm going to pray for you. If you have your envelope of tithe there with you. Can I have here, please? Yes. If you have this envelope of tithe, hold it there in your hands. If you don't have yours yet, tomorrow you can pass to one of the universal church countrywide, close to you as well, and you can grab yours and separate to God what belongs to him. If you can, hold your tithe envelope, your hands, close your eyes, let us pray to God. Our God and our Father, in the name of our son Jesus, my Lord, we call upon your name because we believe, Father, that those who are faithful to you, they have a voice. They can call, my Lord, and you are going to listen to them because before you listen to them, they have been listening, Lord, to your voice. They have been obeying your voice. They have been trust in your words. And I ask you, Lord, for you to bless them. Ah, my Lord, this pandemic cannot stop those who are a chosen one. And I ask you, Lord, for you to prosper. Prosper the works of their hands. Bring prosperity to their lives. And those who are not faithful yet, Lord, to you, Give it to them the strength for they to obey your voice. In order for they to receive this privilege to, to listen, my Lord, your voice. And you also, my Lord, 
they are going to, to listen to their voice. My God, I pray on behalf of Trinidad and Tobago. My Lord, bring prosperity to our nation and also bring protection. My God, I pray on behalf of our Prime Minister, Honorable Kit Rowley. My Lord, whatever he is, give it to him wisdom, knowledge. Not him alone, but all the ministers. My Lord, all the authorities of this nation. I pray on behalf of the police officers. I pray on behalf of the firefighters. My Lord, I pray on behalf of all nurses, all doctors at the hospital, my Lord, bless them and also protect their family. Father, I cannot forget to pray on behalf of all the teachers of this nation. Bless them, Lord. Bless their family. Protect each one of them. My Lord, consecrate and bless each one of the seeds that we have in our sanctuary. Because tomorrow, when this person they come in, as they are allowed to do, when they attend the service, my Lord, great things will take place in their lives. Consecrate and bless their water. For when they drink their water tonight, they will be able to receive their miracle. Trinidad and Tobago, with a bless, I bless you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And whoever believes, say Amen. Do you believe, friends? I have no doubt that you are blessed. And tonight, you are going to sleep like a baby. Those of you that didn't, you couldn't sleep well during the night, from tonight, you are going to sleep in peace. Because a man of God has been telling you that. And you are going to see. Okay? Tomorrow, we are going to begin our day talking with, talking with God. Half past five. Pastor Marcos is going to be here in our YouTube channel with the workers' prayer. And 8.30 in the morning, we are going to have a Pastor Philip with our program Beyond Limits. 1 p.m., everything here on our channel. We are going to have the Hour of Miracles. And 5 p.m., we are going to have a Strong Nation. Okay? And we are preparing ourselves as well for Sunday. Sunday is going to be the Lord's Supper. You must come to the house of God. Do not forget to walk with your face mask. At the entry of the church, we are going to wash, sanitize your hands. And Sunday, our service is going to be, pay attention, 7 o'clock is going to be our first service on Sunday. On Sunday, after 7 o'clock, 8.30 in the morning, after 8.30, we are going to have 10 a.m. service, okay? In all the service, it cannot be with more than one hour. It's going to be less than an hour to bless you. A time enough to prophesy and determine a total transformation in your life. In the afternoon, we are going to have YPG just after 10 a.m. service. And after YPG, we are going to have a 3 p.m. addiction cleansing therapy. And at 5, we are going to have a service as well. Please, stay tuned, stay with us, because God has great things to do in your life. May the Spirit of the living God, may the God of Gideon give it to you strength for you to go to the altar of God. Because on the altar of God, your life will change. Have yourself a blessed and a good night.